We break down the recent Hall of Fame inductees. Has another country duo broken up? And Leanne Rhymes with a new TV show? All these stories and more. Let's start the download. Welcome to another episode of Country Download. I'm your host, Shane Talent, here in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA. And of course, I'm joined by the Ant-Man and Samantha Stevens. We're going to get right to it. This is the show that we talk about all the country headlines, and we do it in a hurry. So let's get started. Here we go. Country Music Hall of Fame inducted three gentlemen this past week, and I want to hear your take on it. Anthony, what do you guys think? So excited about all three of these. Kenny Rogers, the first one, and uh, he's really excited that his eight-year-old twins get to see him inducted. Uh, Bobby Bear, he's going to be inducted too. He was actually in the Army with my dad, so kind of a personal connection there. Oh, I was so excited about Cowboy Jack Clement, famed producer, right. amazing guy. He's produced Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, and is credited with discovering Jerry Lee Lewis, y'all. I mean, come on, put the yeah, man in the Hall of Fame. Not too shabby. <laughs> one funny tidbit, Kenny Rogers said at a press conference that he has two older sons that actually have thought he's been in the Hall of Fame for years, and he's never had the heart to tell him <laughs> I did otherwise. Too. I thought, I thought he, was. he was in there as well. That's funny. Speaking of the Hall of Fame, each year there's an All for the Hall concert, which benefits the Country Music Hall of Fame, and it's an incredible lineup. And we had a chance to go to the show, and we also would like to introduce you to Tyler, our new Rovering reporter. Hey guys, I'm Tyler. We're out here at All for the Hall. And who are you guys here to see at All for the Hall? Everybody. Jason Aldean. Keith Urban, of course. Eric Church, clearly. You're here to see Eric Church. All right. Here he is, Eric Church. And Eric Church, what do you say? What's up? Keith, what do you say about that, Keith? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Jason Aldean. Can I get a go? One, two, three. What? And being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame is? Kenny Rogers Roasters. Kenny Rogers Roasters. Green beans, coleslaw, and corn, all for $4.99 with a side of meat. So what, are we use? what is it? To support the Country Music Hall of Fame Museum. Give them five, four, three, one, and... I don't know what to say. And that's what it's for. Back to you guys in the studios. Wow. Clear, clearly, Tyler knows someone in production that got him the gig. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Ask a question. Ask a question. I wasn't going to say anything. All right, guys. So we've talked about it in past episodes about country duos breaking up. Now, the mm -hmm. question for this next one is, are they breaking up or is it just a break and it's Sugarland? Anthony, what do you think? Well, Christian Bush says it's just a break. See, Phew. Jennifer is at home with her uh, new little baby boy right now, taking some time with him, much deserved. But that doesn't mean that Christian has to take a break, too. In fact, he's out doing his own thing and doing a solo act right now. He even released a, a solo single over in Europe, and they asked him, would you ever consider doing an entire tour as a solo artist? He said, well, if this whole thing turns into an album, I would love to. Without blinking, I would be all over it. But the duo, Sugarland, Christian, Jennifer, it's not over yet. Thank you, Jesus. Look, I mean, he's <laughs> done the CMA Songwriter Series several yeah. times before. He plays writer's rounds out and about. I think it's right. fantastic. He's flexing his muscles, showing you what he can do. Great guitarist, great singer, great writer. We all know, Sugarland that Jennifer has been in the forefront of the vocal side of things, but it'll be yeah. awesome to see Christian get a chance to literally step up to the mic. I'd love that too. Love yeah. It. So here's our twang segment. Every once in a while, we like to uh, introduce new artists. And Sam, I'm going to let you pick your artist first. Go. I just have one question. Where to party at? It's with John Party, my buddy, who, appropriate last name, y'all, is just a good time. His shows are electric. You probably heard his first single, Missing You Crazy. You're definitely going to fall in love with him with his latest single called Up All Night. I just love him. He's a genuine guy. He's fun. He's great with his fans. And you've got to love a dude whose alter ego is named Juan Fiesta. <laughs> Anthony, who's your pick? No alter ego here. His name is Aaron Lewis. You might remember Aaron as the uh, lead singer of the group Stained, now doing his own thing. Had a, uh, a really cool summer song last year called Endless Summer. Back now with a song called Forever. And what I love about Aaron is he's different. Everybody wants, oh, I want something different. What's next? I think he's it, but he fits right in. It's like he's been doing this his entire life. He's a country boy, and you can tell. One I'm word sorry. for each of them. John Party, fun. Mm -hmm. Aaron Lewis, gritty. Yeah, so, I agree. There you go. <laughs> love it. 
All right, so it's not even a rumor. It's actually happening. Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian have pitched themselves in a scripted <laughs> sitcom. Sam, what do you think of this? Y'all, this is my plea. Leanne, girl, I love you. I am a forever fan, but child, I need you to say no. I just don't see how bringing her personal life to the forefront, whether it's in a reality TV setting or a scripted TV setting, is going to end well. What about the music? That's what I want to know. Lady and Gentlemen, that album she did with Vince Gill, amazing. And I'm hoping this is a foray back into music, this new album Spitfire everyone was talking about. I just, I just say no, Leanne. No, girl. Let's not forget, it worked for Reba, so it'll be interesting to see it how has. this played out. You're right. That's completely well, different we're out set of, of time. We're out of time. Sorry, Sam. We're out of time this week, but one last mention is a congratulations. It goes out to Sarah Darling, who recently got engaged in Key West to her boyfriend, British Very boyfriend, cool. James Muriel. So congratulations oh, to the two of them. You know, girl. All right, folks. Well, we'll see you next Friday, but make sure you subscribe to our channel here on Country Now and follow all of us on Twitter. And Country Now has a Twitter account as well, at Country Now TV. I'm Shane Talent for the Ant-Man and Samantha Stevens. We'll see you next week. Later. Bye, y'all.